This week, when Saints go marching, everyone at the press conference was asking the same question. How does one get convinced to leave Florida to come to upstate New York? Jim Jaber coached the Seattle women's basketball program from 1987 to 1990 and recently accepted an offer to do it again, which pleasantly surprised Vice President and Director of Athletics John Dargenio. Who would leave Boca and come back to Albany, not that Albany's not a nice place. Jaber was just 24 years old when he took over the program for the first time. He went on to coach in Marquette and Providence before leading Dayton to the Elite Eight. The next stop was Florida Atlantic, so to answer the question, why leave Florida for New York? It would have been really difficult at any other place, but this really is home. Um, this is a big part of my life, even though I was here three years, it really shaped who I am. Jaber has won more than 500 games. He's led eight teams to the NCAA tournament, and in 2013, he was a finalist for National Coach of the Year. Jaber's made a habit out of winning, and that's the whole point. Winning is a habit, and it's also a belief. And if you're not confident in your ability to do something, even though everyone goes through the motions to try to do it, it's not gonna work. Which is precisely what Lala Watts wanted to hear. I'm a senior and I mean, I don't wanna go out of here without winning the championship and I believe that you can do that for us. So yeah, I'm really excited. But just to be clear, the ocean, the palm trees, the warm winters, it's really okay leaving all that behind? I wasn't expecting the feelings I have right now and it's, it's amazing. So you can keep the beach, I'm, I'm where I belong. <laughs> In a non-pandemic spring, the ancient Hindu festival of Holi is celebrated on campus with an all-out assault of the rainbow. Holi is basically the festival of colors for Hindus and it's um, our way of celebrating like good over evil. The good-natured color wars were canceled this year for obvious reasons, so the Asian Student Association provided students with Rangoli kits and during an evening Zoom call, students made their own colorful arts, but for the first time, they weren't using each other as their canvas. Happy Holi! And finally, outdoor eating is just one more sign that spring is in the air. Well, spring mixed with a scent of barbecued meat. I wasn't exactly hungry until I smelled pulled pork. Each Wednesday, the campus embraces Saints Day, a weekly school spirit celebration. There are giveaways, prizes, and of course, food. I got a pulled pork sandwich and tater tots, and it was really great. I love it. Sienna brings on healthy, fun food onto campus. And in Gianna's case, her Wednesday started with the vaccine. I was waiting to meet my roommate. I just got vaccinated. I don't know what I would have done for lunch. The first dose of Pfizer and bonus tots, that's how you celebrate a Saints Day. Until next time, when Saints go marching. <laughs>